Hello guys, this is Mosley Academy. We are looking into circuit analysis and uh, precisely we are looking into Western Bridge. And before I go into this, uh, if you are a new member on this channel, you can subscribe to the channel. If you are a student of physics and uh, if you are looking forward to be an engineering student. So I will not waste time because I'm only focusing on the, the understanding of the concept of Western Bridge. And uh, I actually have be believed, I have the belief that you have uh, a very good idea about uh, the circuit analysis that is talking about the Ketchoff Current Law and as well as the Ketchoff Rotable. Now, in this video, I'm only going to be discussing about uh, the balance with which I believe for SSC, CBSC, NECO, YX student, and uh, IGCSC, JUPEB, and IGME, these are very important. Balanced Western Bridge is a simple Western Bridge, which most of you just know that they are always in simple ratio. How do we come about that is what I want to talk about in this video. And as well, I'm going to be doing single example, like I do what do in all my videos of physics concepts. Then maybe later, I'll go to Balanced Western Bridge. There, I'm going to talk extensively on how to become balanced and how to work, how to solve uh, the equivalent resistance in an unbalanced bridge. So let's start with the idea of balanced wisdom. What do you call a wisdom bridge? A wisdom bridge is simply, if I'm right now, for a good idea about the topic, we say a wisdom bridge is just what well, we can write for understanding sake that uh, a wisdom bridge is just uh, a circuit. Let me just write a simple, I, hope my, I am not cutting a circuit of uh, five resistances. Let me give you an example, a simple analysis. I'm going to do that. A simple analysis of that example. Let me just draw a diagram, not drawn to scale, just for understanding sake. I have uh, this. Sorry about the way, you can always call it the other way. Don't mind me, this is not an induction call. I'm just drawing like that, please. Apologies. So, please, because normally you might be told that your assistant should be like that. So, that is that. Then we have. Uh, do two junctions here, here, the same thing, then you have, uh, I'm supposed to make it the same, and that's why I would have loved to use a neater diagram. Let me just make it a little bit better than this, so that they will be at the approximately the same position. Okay, fine. So, if this is coming, then this is here, and this is here, then you have uh, your junction, the same thing, then the same thing, then you have this and this and the here. So you can call this one P, just for understanding sake. This is P, you can call this Q, you can call this R and S. Then at this particular junction, we have another one, which is the Wisting Bridge. I'll call it Wisting Bridge W. It is connected across these two junctions. So these two junctions, I'm going to call the junction, um, I'm going to call it junction X and Y, for understanding sake. So now, if you see how many resistance do we have here, resistance boxes, there are five resistance boxes, takes a very simple example of what we call what a wisdom bridge. Now, to understand the concept and how do we solve it to get the equivalent resistance in a simple wisdom bridge, or what we call a balanced wisdom bridge. How do we call it balance? How do we know it is balanced? How do we know it is unbalanced? We can now decide to actually connect this guy to a battery. When I say battery, you guys know that these are simple things you can do in your what in your physics lab. Now connecting this guy to a battery, you can have a now I'm just drawing diagram is not going to scale. <coughs> Apologies. So I'm connecting this guy to battery, and you know battery terminals are positive and negative. So let's say the potential in this battery is V. So as we have studied maybe before, and if you have you are yet to study that, you know potential, the direction of potential of flow of current. Positive, you can say it is this side is positive. So if you are coming here, this side will be V. And if you are coming here to the negative side, we always take that to be zero. That is the positive side to the negative side. 
So what I'm trying to do here is that to get the equivalent resistance, we can apply the simple catch-off current law. And for those of you who are new to my channel, like I said, if you are hearing catch-off current law for the first time, it's called KCL equation. It is just a kind of uh, equation that is actually talking about the direction of flow of current in a circuit. This is a simple circuit, as you can see. And because the simple circuit, current will flow in the direction we have what try to in the direction of the potentials. So as current enter into one loop or one junction, we take the potential at different junction. I believe that everybody have studied Ohm's law in junior classes that uh, that states that V is equals to I R. I don't know why all my hands are writing here. So if I'm going by current law, I can say I is equals to V over R. So all what I'm going to do. I'm going to take two junctions, which is the dumb junction that I have connected the Wisting Bridge to. This particular junction, which I call X and Y. At that particular junction, I'm going to use the catch of current law. And current from formula from Ohm's law is potential divided by what the persistence is. So I'll just take two junctions, which are junctions X and Y, that I've indicated here. And I'll be taking the current at each of these resistances. And if I do that by saying I is V over R, I'm going to set that with the KCL equation would state current at each junction, the outgoing current and the incoming current at every junction of a circuit is always equals to zero. So using that, I think I can quickly get the relationship between this type of what? Simple wisdom. Now, how do we do that? I will do that very quickly. I'm not cleaning. I'm just after doing it work. Now, look at this, guys. So if I start from the junction X now, so I can say using KCL equation, I hope I'm not cutting at me, Using KCL equation, so if I have KCL equation here for for junction X now at X now, look at this now. X is current is going like this here. This is the current now. If current now, I'm taking that junction towards the right. So you can see towards that side, what's this side is zero potential. So the po potential there is what X minus zero. This is the direction of current. So I will say X minus zero over. I'm using V over R. The resistance at that point is R plus C again at this junction. If I'm going from X to Y, this is the wisdom bridge W. So I'm going to have the potential at this particular, it's also zero, but it's moving from X to Y. So it will be X, please very, be very careful about that. So we have X minus Y over W, because the resistance here is W, I'm using V over R, plus the last one, that is the one flowing towards this direction, I'll say, this is x minus, what's the potential here? V. Remember, at that side is 0. So this is x minus V. I'm just showing you over, over the resistance here is P. Guys, what I'm doing here is I'm using V over R. So I'm looking at the separation of the flow of the current. So I'm not doing something that is what too magnificent or what you cannot understand. Now, similarly, if I go by KCL equation at the Y loop, if I'm using the same principle, I'm doing that and I'm using the same principle. Hope I'm not cutting here, Admin. So thank you very much. So now, from here now, look at this at Y junction here. This is at X junction. The same thing at Y junction. I'll write that in blue. So at Y junction, look at the same thing. If I'm going, current is moving from Y to the terminal of zero. The voltage is Y minus zero. Because current is voltage over resistance. Y minus zero over the resistance is what? X. Because you guys should get M plus. Now, look at the one. If it's moving from Y, this junction here to this junction will be Y minus X. Y minus X over the W. Then the last one will be plus. The last one that is not, that is moving from here to here. That is, what's it? Y. What's the potential here? V. So, Y minus V over, what's the resistance over Q? So, is equals to zero. That's the law is equal to zero. The sum total of all the potential that is passing through a particular junction, excuse me, is equal to zero. Now, if we solve this equation and we assume the x equals to y, to solve this equation, I will say x equals to y. So if x equals to y, I'm doing that now. If x equals to y, I don't want to take another page. Hope this is not cutting. If x equals to y, and we solve these two equations, we call this one equation one, and you call this equation two because of our time, that's the first. You are going to see at the end of the equation. What we are saying is that if this x junction is equal to y, 
That means if the same potential is flowing through that particular point where the wasting bridge is being connected, get this concept. It's very simple. What we are saying is what well, definitely current will not pass through that point. So when current does, doesn't pass, you can solve this simultaneously. For those of you who are mathematicians, so you can say therefore when s is y, you know what it means. So you are going to have what is going to you are going to have left is a p over q is equals to r over x. Now, what we notice is that when s equals to y, that is the condition when current is not passing through this wasting bridge w that we connected here, the ratio of the resistance and the resistances are in the same ratio. This first part, p by q, is also equals to r by that is solving these two equations I have given you here. And you say x junction is equals to y. Current is not flowing. And when this happens, when this happens, such wisdom bridge is said to be called is called symmetrical. Symmetrical wisdom bridge. So be careful about that. Whenever you are giving questions of wisdom bridge and you spot, <coughs> excuse me, and you spot that what the ratio of the first loop and that of the second loop are equal. I get it now. It is called a balanced what mystery bridge. Symmetrical wisdom bridge, but it is called balanced. This is the language we give to it. I hope this is writing in full to that side. It's called balanced wisdom bridge. So we need to be very careful about questions. So what we are trying to say there, guys, is that instead of uh, instead of uh, admit, please, I hope I can continue. Now, instead of uh, actually taking this wisdom bridge into consideration, when you have a wisdom bridge that is symmetrical, that is balanced, that is the language we use in O level that is balanced, you don't need to disturb yourself. You can easily remove the middle wisdom bridge and just focus on what? On the remaining four. And that is why whenever you are told that what a, a wisdom bridge is what is just a, what, a circuit or a socket of five resistances, most of the time it is balanced, we remove the middle resistance. And when we remove the middle resistance, you can now draw it out to give you different what? Different what? Different are a new, a simple, a simple circuit. So most of the time, when it is balanced, it can be redrawn into different what, different ways. Which I think maybe I should quickly show that. But because of our time, I will just do that. Maybe beside the question, because I have one question I will do for you guys now. Try to understand what I'm talking about. So admit, please give me the question. Let's see the question. Maybe when I'm doing the question, I will be able to. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So let's see. Hope the question is not cutting. Thank you very much. Now the question here is that you have to calculate the equivalent equivalent resistance across A B. Now you can see the what the wasting bridge that is given there. Simple wasting bridge. The first thing you check is is this wasting bridge is it balanced or is it not balanced? Now if you watch very well, how do you check? I mean, please hope you're setting because I can see many adjustments. If this is not working, you can you can you can just tell me. Now, if you check very well, this is a balance with steam bridge. And because it's a balance with steam bridge, I don't need to disturb myself considering what the, the fifth watt resistance. That is the logic, and that is what we are teaching you here. So when you have a balance with steam bridge, you don't need to waste your time. Just focus on that, and uh, you can easily work. And sometimes, in most of the old level questions, if it's a balance with steam bridge, one can just remove one here. And what you guys just go by ratio. So look at the question for this one. We are told that uh, calculate the equivalent resistance across A B, A to B. Like I said, if we remove the middle this wisdom bridge, this is what we are going to have. So we are going to have something like this. Look at that. We have uh, here we have five. We have five and three that are connected. I just want to show you five ohms and. Uh, Three ohms are connected like this. This are the terminal. Then you have the other one. This is ten ohms, and this is a uh, the six ohms. This is the way it is now connected, and you are going to have a simple, a simple circuit. So having a simple circuit now, calculating the equivalent resistance of this simple circuit. I think we can all do it now because it's now simple. We all know that 5 and 3 are in series, then 10 and 6 are in series, then these two are connected in parallel to each other. So therefore we can say 
have equivalent here, equivalent resistance will now be 5 plus 3, 8, that is connected in parallel with 10 plus 6, which is what, 16. Please, I hope you guys know the interpretation of double flow, it means parallel. So now I can just say, therefore, equivalent resistance is now equals to as 8 parallel times 16 over 8 plus 16. Or if you are not used to this, you can use your normal method. 5 plus 3 is 8, 10 plus 6 is 16. So 1 over R equivalent is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. It is not a big deal because all these are what? Add me, please, your turn to shine. Please, 8 times 16. I don't have time. I think it's 144. I'm not sure. Or 104. I think it's 104. 104. So that's 104. This is 16, 8, and 8 twos are 10. That's 104. 1, 2, 6. One, two, six. Oh, 8 times 6 is 48. One, two, it one, can two, never two, be 1, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, six. Yeah. Because I ask you to do something in me, I cannot do it. I just feel like it yeah. should be long. Now, this is 24. So 120 divided by 24 will be the equivalent resistance of this one, which by, by intuition, you can try, is not 4. What's that? 5.3. 5.3. 5.33 repeating ohms. So will be the equivalent resistance of this set. So guys, what I just want you guys to know in this simple video is that what be careful to check if this is what balanced. When it is balanced, you can remove the what the middle one. And again before I go, there are different ways in which what resistance is. Admit please, you can actually give me one more. Don't worry, I'll manage this way instead of wasting time. Now, most of the, this is the common way in which you can see a wasting bridge. But there are some other way in which wasting bridge can be represented. So students need to be very, very careful. Sometimes the same thing you've seen here can be what? The terminals can start from here. That is terminal A. Then it goes up the same thing. Then it comes like this. Then the second terminal comes like this. Then this was the third, you can see. I know some of you are conversant with this in your junior classes, diagram not done to scope, and this is it. So this is the second terminal B. So you can have your resistances like this, just showing a, a quick one, then it is like this. This is the same thing. So it can give you this and put it in any form. So that's another way. You can see this is A, B, across A you have 5, then under the something you have 10 ohms, I'm just very, I'm rushing now guys, then across the B terminal on top of it you have 3, and uh, under it you also have uh, 6. So this is the same thing as what you have there. So that's another way in which you can see what we steam it. And the one that is connected at the junction is for which you can put there. But because it's what is a balanced with steam bridge, you don't need what to disturb yourself with that. Similarly, it can also be in another way sometimes because many times when I see questions, when you guys ask me to solve for you guys online, I will be kind of what? Wow, this is a simple question, but wow. Nothing is simple if you don't know it. That's the truth. Now, you can also have it in different from the same thing that I can write here. I can decide to draw it in another way. Another way, another way, another way, another way. So I can decide to make it this. Okay, one, two, and we clean this one that so that when you see them, any way it is being done, it's just for you to what to open your eye and see the what. So numerical questions can come in different ways. Most of the questions are not so difficult. But most time is because you guys are not familiar with them. So that's the two points, terminal A and B. Then, then you can have uh, this start here. And here. So the second will start here and end here. I can have it in different form. Then I start distributing them. So it all depends on, and sometimes I can even draw this thing another way, which is, I think, a little bit of uh, advanced, but nothing is advanced if you know what you are doing. I can also draw this particular wasting bridge, the same thing here in another pattern. Let's say this is one. And I have this one here. And I have another one, one here. Then in it here, I will have one. And we have, and you know, there are different ways. Just for you to look at what is placed on top and what is placed on that. But overall, the most common one to a whole level student is this particular simple one. And the other one I do, the second one. Most of the time, you wouldn't see this and this. But no matter how it is being done, 
what you have to keep at the back of your mind is that what all these things have their what application understanding it is very important as the sense of this video so i'll see you soon what in vehicle my grace of god in the next video where i'll be talking about unbalanced with steam bleach and before that time don't forget it is always good to read because when you read it increases what it gives you the kind of confidence to face what any type of question bye for now and do have a wonderful time